Hello everybody. Well, this video is a unique one um, in terms of my own experience as it represents the uh, uh, a near complete circle round trip. A few, well, not just a few years back, quite a number of years back when I, when I first started, in fact when I first started making videos on YouTube, one of the uh, most interesting early encounters I had was with a, a farmer that I met um, not in the deep mountains, but at what I call the near mountains, still uh, still relatively uh, remote enough. And I met him while I was just kind of wandering around. I'd been uh, uh, tripsing about exploring a little graveyard area, respectfully, trying to be, you know, do, you know, do so in, 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 in the best manner that I can. And I met him coming out, and uh, he asked me some questions, and he asked me what I was up to, and I just said, I'm out having an adventure. And he invited me, he said, well, you want an adventure? Follow me. <laughs> he had this giant pack on his back. And uh, he said, oh, okay, what the heck? Come on, he said, come up to my farm. So I, 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 he just turned around and started walking up this trail right out of the, right into the woods. And um, I followed him, I, I just followed him along and I grabbed my camera and I said, can I take a picture? And he said, sure. So I, I turned the camera on and uh, the video, um, Mountainside Green Tea Farm or Mountaintop Green Tea Farm was the, was the result. One of my favorites um, uh, of, of all the videos that I've made, I spent the, uh, um, the morning uh, with the man up at his uh, uh, farm and he was so proud. He had hewn that, that, um, that tea farm out of the top of that mountain uh, 50 years prior uh, and uh, he handpicks the tea and uh, you can't get there other than by walking up that trail. And after we had spent the day, he showed me one expanse and another expanse of tea and, and the surrounding forest. It was so beautiful. Later, his wife joined us. With, she brought up his lunch at lunchtime. And I had my lunch, and we sat and talked and, and, and had a very nice time. Um, one of the most delightful experiences that I've yet had in the mountains here. And I've had a, had a good number of them. Um, anyway, I've, I've been meaning for some time to go back and try to find that, uh, that tea farm. And... Uh, I was worried. The man was old at the time, and uh, I was I'd be kind of concerned that you know with all the abandoned farms that I find that that he may not be uh, doing doing farming anymore. So I made an effort uh, uh, earlier this summer to uh, try to go back to that area. Now it had been so long that I couldn't quite remember where the trailhead was, but I did get to the area in question, and I was indeed able to find the trailhead, and I was able to to get some glimpse of what might be going on. I'll leave that into the video. You can you can. You can discover with me as, as the video. What I will do is at the end of this video, which is my attempt, the first part, the first clip, long clip, uh, it's quite long, um, uh, will basically show you my attempt to find, refine this, to find this place, we discover this place. The second clip after that, after that one ends, and I make my, my conclusion about what might have happened, um, uh, is the actual, the original mountaintop green tea farm. So I've gone ahead and included that in, so you can see the whole picture. What I have yet to do is go back and uh, traipse up there, try to try to climb up that mountainside and uh, find out what the state of the farm is up there. I'm going to leave that for the uh, fall or winter season once the vegetation has diminished and uh, once the uh, hornets, the danger of hornets, which are mad and crazy right now, uh, once that has uh, gone down as well. So with that, I'll leave you and um, here's the video, uh, searching searching for the, uh, for the uh, lost green tea farm and then after that, mountaintop green tea farm. Hope you enjoy. Take care. And I will follow up with another video eventually showing you, showing you actually we'll go, we'll go discover the farm together and see, see, see what, what condition it's in. Here it is. Hi everybody. I'm doing something that I've been meaning to do for years. It's been about, probably about eight, nine, eight or, oh, long time, North, maybe less than that. Six years or so since I've been here. I'm uh, trying to refine, to rediscover that old uh, tea farm, the, high, the uh, Japan tea farm video, or the tea farm that I, I met by that old man in the mountains years ago. One of my first videos in Softy Papa. Excuse me, a little winded. It's been a long day. I remember that I was up here exploring this cemetery when I met him. Up there, the cemetery is up there, the older part of the cemetery. And I swear to gosh, I met him when I came down here. And he was down here. He, we met right around here. And he invited me to uh, come up 
to the place. Look at this. This is with the uh, Buddhist temple disposal site. Lots of religious items here. This place has incense, such an old candle holders and the like. British religious items. Put it back the way I found it. There we go. I'll show you trim things just as I left them. So I discovered them. And I thought that the trail to his farm was back here. Look at this. This is pleasant. Jumping off into there. And down here. This doesn't seem to work. This is the cleaning the grave. I'm nearly certain it's a trail to his farm. Right around here. Could it be that it's all gone? He was an old man when I met him. Could it be that his farm is completely lost now? I, th I swear to goodness, I, I came down. I went up this way, up to the graves, and then I came down this way. And I came out right here, and he was right here. And he said, would you like to see something interesting in my farm? And he took me right up there and we got a trailhead. I went up there to the farm. It's gone. It seems that the uh, trail, whatever, where might the trail have started? Huh. Where might the trail have started? Somewhere in here. Huh. Okay, let's try to retrace my steps a little bit. Let's go up to the old cemetery. I've only got a short amount of time. I gotta be heading back. This is the newer cemetery here. The older cemetery above is nearly abandoned. If I remember right, this was six years ago. Maybe if I come up here, it'll jog my memory. Here, that's the cemetery up here, the older one. Japanese people in the mountains here they typically put their uh, cemeteries on the side of the hills. It's the idea that the, they're very quaint. Quaint's not the right word. Sounds uh, condescending. They're very, uh, but it is the right word. Even if, I don't mean it to sound condescending, but if it does, I'm sorry. But it's the right word. It's a quaint idea that the uh, spirits of the ancestors will uh, can watch over the village from above. I sort of spider out of focus, sorry. Here, here's the old cemetery. And as I remember, these stairs go up. It gets rather abandoned. A nice butterfly. Big. Okay. Well, let's go up. Let's see what the cemetery looks like. Maybe it'll jog my memory about where the farm is. That's a curious sight. Now, people leave stuff next to cemeteries that sometimes uh, the people who are deceased and have enjoyed in life, teacups and things like that. This one seems to have detergent. Detergent? Maybe there was a, a matron in the house that really loved to wash clothes. Laws and a whole family. Each of those lines represents a single deceased family member. A teacup there. Probably a grandma's teacup. A flowery pattern. But detergent? Of all the things I've ever seen. Sake, beer, candy, snacks of all sorts. I've never seen anything as domestic as detergent left for the deceased. There's a nice bata. It'll jump. I'm sure of it. Before I get too clear, there it'll hop hop. There's nice set porcelain cups there. Old graves here. Old. Now, keep in mind that in the past, 
the you know, now the Japanese uh, um, inter ashes, but in the past, Japanese would be buried bodily as we were, as we are in the West, in many cases. So uh, the older stones tend to represent uh, individuals, whereas the stones, modern stones, like all of these right here, are for you know families collected. All of these individuals are buried. Their ashes are in, inside. It's hollow on the inside. Ashes are on the inside. This uh, particular grave, you see, it's getting less and less used. No one's been up here to visit these for a while. Likewise here, ornamental plant there has grown up quite big. What is that? Is that Zunoshi? Big giant? Right up here? Oh, I saw it. Oh, these, these could be individuals right here. Except for these. These are Jesus statues. So these might be individual gravestones here. Well, from, you know, from maybe the Meiji period beyond. And these are collectives. Where right, right, it gets up here, it gets very, very overgrown. The oldest stones of all up here. Getting more of the old stones. So you go up. Nothing at all through here. No graves. No graves at all. There's a few up there in the weeds. That's where we're headed. Take a look at the valley here. Abe River. Safki Papa does most of his hiking up that river and into the mountains further. Been there for a while. Look at these. More grave plots up there. Empty. The flower is. Oh, I can smell some incense up here. Doesn't seem like anyone's been here a while, but I smell the worth of incense. Is that a monument stone right there in the weeds? Maybe not, just a support post. Well, that's true right there. Those posts are made, those wooden posts are made after someone dies. And the idea is to leave them up until when you give regular prayer service for those individuals until the wood deteriorates and rots away and you can't read it anymore and then you don't uh, you don't attend to those so much anymore as an individual but you attend to them as a, uh, um, as a collective ancestry and we're seeing that the top of the grave marker sticking out and a little hot air Oh wow, look up here. And yet it goes further still. You can see stones, look at this. They're completely back there in the weeds. Gravestones, look at that. There's a stone right there, you can see markings on it. Someone's grave, there's graves back here. These are people, and I can't even step back there, I'll fall off the edge into the uh, <laughs> void of some sort. Wow, people are completely forgotten. I know that sounds callous. And then the steps get nearly impassable. Look at this. It's completely overgrown. I remember going up here quite a ways. The last I can't even find my footing. The last time I was up here, it must have been in the winter time. Lots of spider webs through here. I can see you know plots over there, grave. Is that a marker stone? Mm -hmm. Stone right there, can you see that? Yeah, falling over. Uh, these are forgotten. Oh, sorry, spiders. I'm sorry, I've got to come through and break your webs. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, silly inside. Sorry, the spiders. I think that's cool though. <laughs> up here. I'm just gonna go a little further. Breaking all these spider webs. Not why they work so hard for. And it goes on and on. Look at this. Sorry about that, spider. There's a spider crawling across my head. <laughs> Okay, a little plot there. I'm gonna stop right here. Here, look at this. 
That's all tumbled to ruin. Here are blocks. Yeah. More areas here. I don't see any gravestones though. Right up here. I don't remember what's up here. Whoa, you can see the trail. So it's a little residue if it goes up. That would be the perfect type of thing for me to explore. And what a great little insect right there. Like a, a wasp of some sort. Oh, it's a hornet nest. Look at that. Hornets. Whole nest. Three small little white hornets. White yellow hornets. How lucky. The camera's very close. They don't seem to be aggressive at all. Very nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave the hornets to their thing. Look at that beautiful pattern on that web. Stop disturbing the webs. If you guys want to stick with them, I'll go back down. I don't know what's up here for them. I, re I remember. It's all those years back and I came up here. I came up here and this was like one of the first such graveyards that I had found. And I was astonished by the uh, stones that I was finding in the near abandoned feel of part of the graveyard. There's, by the way, there's the Buddhist temple uh, for the area right there. I passed it walking up. And when I came down, I was exhausted. And that's when I, I met the old farmer. And I was sure that he, we were, within seconds of our meeting, we were in the woods. Step carefully down here. Mm. Mm. So hot. Let me check the time. You don't want to see me, do you? You want to see what time? Oh, 207. Okay. Better head back. Okay, we'll head on back. I'll keep the camera on for just a minute. In case anything in there comes up or any recollections come come to mind. What is that? It's like a skeleton. Pieces of a snake or something. Sorry, guy. If there's any spirits in here. I feel about that, perhaps. So. Sorry for my trespass and my, my rude words. The foreign words. There goes a big snake. Did you see that? <laughs> that was big. Did you see that? There's a skink right there. What? Huh? Somebody calling. Hello? Oh, that was me calling home. <laughs> I don't know why my phone does that sometimes. It just calls people. Anyway, that was a big old snake and then a, uh, a lizard-like skink or something. If you know, you can get a view from up here. Where's that trail? I don't see it anywhere. And I remember now, this, now I do have a bit of memory coming back. I remember asking the old man about that temple. I asked him if that temple was associated with this. Let's go back down exactly the way we went. See, these are getting older and soon they'll fall apart. Look at the uh, lantern. It's falling over. The roof top is falling off. And there's the uh, incense here. I'd fix that if, if I wasn't in view of the village. People could maybe be able to see me up here and wonder what I'm up to. So I'll leave it be. Oh, I'd, I'd better write things whenever I can. That's so funny when I accidentally call somebody thinking they're calling me. There, that, that grave is pretty. I've been up here to tend to that for a while. You know what happens is, you know, the, the, the kids move away, start a new life wherever their new life is, and uh, they remember to come up while Granny and Grandpa are, are alive, and then after Granny and Grandpa are gone, they might come up once in a while to tend to the graves, and then. After mom and dad are gone, the kids just uh, forget about it all again. The danger of happening in my own family. I remember years back, we used to always go to the uh, ancestral grave. Can't remember the last time we were there. Hmm. Life, in, life intrudes on those things in a strange way. What is that? Pity. Pity that. Where we are. I guess if we all hung on to the past too dearly, 
How far back can you hold on? How much can you, uh, can you really uh, keep? Is there any way that this path might have gone over here and an alternate way back? It does seem to kind of meander over. Mm, dead end, another nearly a neglected grave. So I guess that's as much of a shame as it is, I guess that's the way it goes. I don't mind. When, I, when, I'm, when I'm gone, I guess, I guess I'll expect, I guess those who knew me will remember me once in a while. I don't expect anybody to. It's quite alright if I'm utterly forgotten. Wow, that's a nice doozy of a drop. Oh, I'll try to make the best of living that I've got and whatever. Oh, look at this. I remember this bench. I am in the right place. I remember this. Boy, that's a kind of a dangle your head, legs over the edge there, huh? Mm -hmm. Heavy iron and wood there. Mm -hmm. Well, back. This is exactly what I did. I came down just as I did there, but I spent more time up there. It was years back, and I came out here, and there was an old man right here. This could be it, right here. This is probably it. Ah, ha, we've got it. This is the trail. This is it, this is it. We nailed it. <laughs> Retracing our steps, we found it. And what I see does not look good. This is probably his umbrella that he would use if it was raining. This is it, this is the trail. I can see the trail now. Goes up here through the woods. There, see up there, there's, a, there's like a bridge-like structure cross there. This is exactly where he led me. And then it goes up. And I don't think, look at this. I don't think anybody's been here for a long time. Maybe, but I don't think so. And it's a shame. I am completely out of time. This is it. We found the trail. This is the trail to the uh, tea farm that that man carved out of the mountaintop. 50 years prior to my meeting him, built a life for he and his wife in the mountains up there. And uh, was so proud to show me, he invited me up. Well, I met him right here, and he invited me up. And we hiked in the mountains. I was stunned by what I found up there. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got to stop for now, but I will come back and climb this trail and explore up here. But for now, I'm going to leave you with a link right up here. If you want to see, meet the man and see the farm as, I, as, I, as he showed it to me all those years back. And then I promise I'll come back here again and go up there, but I'm, I'm afraid that this story will be a, have a, a sad ending, as I, I expect. He was an old man when I met him. I think he was in his ni nearly 90 or something like 85 or 90. I can't quite remember. He was old. I met his wife, too. Uh, I'd rather doubt that they're gone. I mean, I'd rather expect that they're gone or at least no longer able to work the farm. His farm is going back. His farm, his life's work is going back to nature up there somewhere. It'd be worthwhile to go up and take a look. More sentimental than any adventure that I had ever had. I'm going to stop for now, everybody. Thanks for uh, joining me as we explore this. And uh, here's the link. Take care. Come back. America Kara. America Kara. Mm -hmm. <笑><笑>おかしいね。うん。お茶取りに行く。ああ。お茶今日。今。ああ、お茶取り。
車どこよってきた車。あ、um,、安倍川の方この These are his tea fields. Ah, Sakini, Koreo, what am I? Kino, Totta, Kino, Kino, no, so the Kyo, Korito, Stat. Ah, I see, what am I? So yesterday he handpicked all of this tea, and today. He's going to be working. He does, guy. He said, "I can take his picture." Ah, he shot in this. Wow. Kono yama no namae wa nan desu ka? Koko. Hmm. Jo yama. Jo yama. Eh. This mountain is Jo yama. Ah, machi wa doko desu ka? Eh. Machi muro wa doko desu ka? Yujima. Yujima. Yujima wa doko? はい。He's going to be pick up my hand. Meet them when he does, ka? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All of this he will pick by hand. He doesn't use any machines. He said he's one of the last uh, of the farmers up here to do all of his tea by hand. He just told me that when he was 18 years old. He came up here. He bought this land, and he planted all of these. He cleared the land and planted all of these tea fields. He also planted the hinoki trees when he was 18. So these larger trees over here were planted at that time, the original. So these are about 50 years old. Whereas these trees here in front of him, where he's working, are only about 20 years old. He uh, did a harvest 20 years ago and then replanted. He did this all himself when he was 18 years old. And uh, this uh, mountaintop tea farm and the uh, Hinoki uh, uh, tree farm is the result of a lifetime's worth of work. Now he's getting ready to uh, begin picking the tea. Sweeps it off to clean it. ありがとうございました。さよなら。